Hi guys, Tony from GME. Today, we're gonna to run you through the XRS Connect Zones feature. So we get a lot of questions, both on YouTube and on the other social media platforms, around what zones are, how they work, and how to set them up. So in this video, we're gonna run you through the basic premise of what the zones are there for and how to use them. And then we're gonna create a subsequent video that goes into a lot more detail in terms of the specific way to set those frequencies up in their respective zones. So let's get started. XRS Connect zones enable you to program user programmable receive only frequencies outside of 477 megahertz. So UHF CB, your standard 80 channels operate on the 477 megahertz frequency. But XRS Connect radios also have the ability to receive signals on a wider band from 403 to 520 megahertz. The reason that you would want this is a number of analog commercial radio users still transmit on those frequencies. Because this is a UHF CB product, you're not allowed to transmit on those channels, but you can listen in. Some examples of organisations that may still use analog commercial radio around Australia are people like the Rural Fire Service, the SES, and in some cases, even local police services, depending on the location. The zones feature on XRS Connect radios enable you to program up to 400 receive only frequencies across eight different zones. So within each zone, you'll have your 80 UHF CB channels as standard, and you can program up to an additional 50 receive only frequencies per zone. You can do this via the radio itself by entering the specific frequency you'd like to listen to and naming it. But today, we're going to cover the XRS Connect app and how you set up your zones through the app itself. So let's get into it. So open your XRS Connect app on your smartphone and connect your radio. Now, if you have previously connected the radio, it should connect automatically. And if you're unsure on how to pair your radio with your smartphone, check out the other video on the YouTube channel. So once the radio is connected, go to your radio list and you'll see, in your case, most likely one radio, but obviously because I've got a number of XRS radios, there's a few in the list. You can tell which radio, if you have more than one, you're trying to connect to by the serial number. In this case, I know the serial number ends in 691, and you can see by the blue Bluetooth icon that the radio has automatically connected. The first step is to then read the configuration from the radio by pressing the small read radio button on the right hand side of the screen. The app will then display a notification saying that it is transferring from the radio. And the app is pulling all of the information off the radio with the current configuration settings that you have set up. This may take a couple of minutes, so be patient. It will get all the information across. Once the application has finished reading the configuration from the radio, you will notice a number of new icons next to the connected radio. One of which is called right radio, and there's also a small gear icon, which is your settings menu, which is where you need to go to set up the zones. You'll notice a number of different options here, which is a great way of programming your radio through the app rather than through the microphone itself. And you'll also see down the bottom, zones one through to eight. So we'll jump into zone one, now you can also change the name of that zone if you don't like zone one, or if you have multiple zones set up and you want an easy way to differentiate between each one. So we're going to call this test zone, and you'll see under the name that zero channels out of a potential 50 have been programmed. In order to add a frequency to a zone, you need to press the small plus icon at the top of the screen. You then have a number of options in order to add receive only channels to the zone. If you know the number or the specific frequency that you'd like to program, you can choose the first option, which is to create a custom receive only channel. Alternatively, if you're not sure what the frequency is, you can search based on your location, which is the import Australia and New Zealand receive only channels option. This option relies on a database of up to 20,000 receive only commercial analog channels. Click on that button and it will then give you a number of options in terms of searching. The search is conducted via your location. So press the small location icon and then you can search based on your current location 
or a location that you intend to travel to. For me, we're currently sitting in the GME headquarters in Winston Hills, so I will search for Winston. Winston Hills appears, click on that button, and then you can also change the distance that you would like to search within. So we're gonna increase that from five to 10 kilometers, and then press the search for channels button at the bottom of the screen. The app will then display a list of all registered frequencies within a 10 kilometer radius of Winston Hills. So we've got a couple of different options here. We're going to add Asahi beverages because everyone likes a beer. Click the slider next to the specific frequency. And when you press the back button, you will now see under the name of the zone, one channel out of 50 has been programmed. Of course, you can add up to another 49 frequencies to that zone before you then write the configuration back to your radio. Press the back button, go back to radios, press the right radio icon, and the app will transfer your configuration, including the newly set up zone, back to the radio. Once the app has finished writing the configuration back to the radio, you'll hear a very clear beep, and that means that your new configuration, including your newly set up zone, is now on the radio and ready to go. As always, if you have any questions about anything we've covered in the video, feel free to drop a comment below, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest from GME.